all right guys what is up James here so today I am working on my deck I just spent um, the rest, most of the day today screwing down and trim the edges and uh, you can see here I got this galvanized roofing material on the shack or the Deltona station I guess as we're calling it now so I decided to use half inch conduit uh, for the balusters um, that way when you're you know you're sitting out here and you're looking out on the lake um, you know hopefully it won't be too distracting but this is how right here is how it's always been there's never been balusters and it is about a five foot drop off so totally not the code so I'm just gonna try to bring it up the code here um, it's kind of a wet dreary <music> So here's the conduit, about 50 pieces of conduit, half inch EMT, and uh, I think it'll last for many, many years. And even if it gets a little rusty, um, you can see that galvanized there, you know, I think it'll all tie in with the house real nice. And, uh, you know, I got galvanized uh, roofing on the inside of the ceiling, so it should look pretty good. Let's get to work. Alright, so the first thing I'm doing is cutting myself a little storyboard. I'm going to drill through uh, little pilot holes every four inches, which is the code. Uh, you can't, they can't, you can't pass a four inch sphere through your balusters. So with this being four inch on center, it's a half inch. So it'll actually leave a three and a half inch opening in between each rung. I'm running these horizontal to match the, uh, the run of the deck boards and also the uh, the skirting is all horizontal too, so should look pretty good. And I got a lot of cleanup to do. All right, so let's uh, let's do this. My plan is to do like maybe one inch deep holes or inch and a half holes on this side, through holes, through holes. So I do have this marked with an arrow for my up. Alright guys, a couple days has elapsed, it started raining really bad, um, so I definitely would recommend getting a drill bit like this. This is an auger style bit that uh, really works nice with this treated wood. It's got this little spiral point that uh, drives it in and it does a nice, makes it really, this, this part here makes a really, this part here makes a really nice clean cut unlike a regular 
uh, spiral drill bit. So these middle poles I'm gonna drill all the way through and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I got my little pilot hole that I already drilled. I'm gonna drill halfway through and then drill halfway through this then the rest of the way this way. That way it makes sure they're level because I don't wanna, if I drill up at an angle or whatever, so I'm gonna go in halfway, come around this side, finish it off and that way they should be nice and level. This drill bit really draws it in. chips all right so that worked really good look at all those chips so definitely drill from both sides I could tell I was off a little bit here and there and it kind of equalized it out so what I'm gonna do too is get these holes drilled and then I'm gonna go ahead and stain these poles put the new top cap on before I put the pipes in and that way I'm not trying to stain around all those pipes So I had put some blue tape on the drill just to kind of give me a guide to make sure that I didn't drill in too deep. I didn't want to drill out the other side of the poles on the end and on the corner piece. All right, time for some stain and get these top caps on. So check this out, did the little wrap around my tree here. I contemplated taking this tree out, but I just love it, how it kind of overhangs the deck. So I just got all this finished, so I'm going to go ahead and stain all these, these uh, uprights now, and probably the railing too, before I go ahead and put the pipe in, that way it'll be done. I won't have to sit there and try to stain around all the pipe. And boy, do I got some messes to clean up. Try to give you a view of this tree here. So this tree, so I'm standing in the house now. So that tree kind of comes up. All the way over. And you got these crazy six foot eaves. If you don't know, my house was, if you didn't watch any of my earlier videos, my house was originally built in the 1890s as the Daytona Beach train station. And then half of that building was moved here to this lake and where it's been since the 50s. So I got all the uh, verticals stained. Certainly glad I did that before I put the 
conduit in because it made it really fast. It only took me about maybe a half an hour, hour. I'm gonna have to definitely do two or three coats on the, on the new wood on the top rail, but I got the first coat on. I usually wait two or three weeks after I put it on treated wood before I stain it, but I wanted to get this railing at least the first coat on and up underneath, so. All right, so let's get to it. So I'm gonna measure. So basically I gotta be able to put the pipe in way in deep so that when it's over here, the pipe clears this edge and then I can move it over and push it in. So I basically need to be about, I'm gonna say one inch. So I'm gonna measure the distance between the two, add two inches and cut my pipe. That's a little dangerous. Probably not the best idea. check it out my biggest fear here let me sit down on my chair is that I would lose my, my view of the lake but not too bad there's never actually been balusters on this deck in the last 30 years but I'm trying to bring this place up to code Whew, I'm wore out all right I'll get the rest of these done still got to do those last four there I got to borrow a uh, conduit bender to do some cool little funky bends around the tree there but looks really good so a three quarter inch drill bit for this half inch conduit don't ask me why half inch conduit EMT does not measure half inch inside or outside dimensions but looks pretty good so the view out the lake, not too bad. You know, it's a little busy, but let's go down by the lake and take a look. All right, here's the view from down here. So you can see how that looks really nice with the uh, horizontal skirting with the horizontal balusters. And then you got the vertical lines on the house. That's nice. I like it. A lot of staining to do still. It was like 85 degrees today. Sweating up my butt off. It's about a week before Christmas. Here in Florida. Alright guys, so... I got uh, these four last pieces. I borrowed this guy from my uh, electrical buddy. I'm going to try not to hit my head on this tree. And uh, my plan is to bend, 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 and then a little less on each one and make it kind of fade into this bottom uh, row here. So let's see 
how this works. I guess I'm going to need a tape measure and a marker. All right, so I got this first one in place. And my plan to hold it to keep it from rotating is get this nice and level. It's pretty good. You could put a level on this, I guess. I'm just going to eyeball on it. And I'm going to drill through here, through the pipe, uh, with this guy. And my hope is that I'll grab a screw today. So now, now it can't rotate. So I'll do that on the other side. guys there it is looks pretty cool I maybe would do it a little different I tried to do a transition I had to space the, the uh, bends out here smaller and then a single bend and maybe should have tried to squeeze a double bend in here maybe even one more little one down there but I'm not gonna mess with it anymore it looks pretty good so from the side it's got a little one of the things I noticed is that this uh, the galvanizing is already starting to get chalky, which kind of sucks. But uh, I got some new furniture, a little propane fire pit, and uh, as soon as it dries out around here, I'll get a couple coats of stain on this deck, and we'll call this project done. Thought I'd show you guys a quick shot of the railings. So. Uh, the easiest way I started at the top and then that, that way I could uh, Visualize the drill at the angle off of here to drill up the angle and I drilled in about Drilled in about three-quarters of the way so I could put the pipe way up and then pull it back Down into about a one inch deep notch on this side just like I did the other stuff. So uh, Maybe try to back up here So that looks looks pretty cool I ended up adding this extra one here, which had to go down in through there, so that it would meet the code here. A lot of cleanup to do. A lot of cleaning up to do. There's this one on this side. So, I'm really happy with it. One thing I did notice, and I, you know, you know this about zinc coatings and galvanizing is you can get this great chalkiness here. You can see that. So I'm gonna probably wipe them down with some sort of something, but eventually I might have to just paint them or something if they get all gross and chalky, but looks like they're already starting to. Thanks for watching guys, don't forget to like and subscribe, and share with your friends. Good luck on your projects, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below or email me directly. And uh, that's it, peace out. Have a beautiful day here in Florida.
the subtle art of s'more making. Yes, this is my ASMR channel. Welcome to S'mores 101. Don't drip it on the new furniture, Ellie. Don't drip it on the new furniture.